Hello everybody, my name is Luis and let's create our first plugin part 3. Now we're going to talk about the creation of the installation file and how everything works in Revit. So, uh, last, vi last video we create our plugin, really simple one, and we send it to the GitHub. Ah, yes, still running the, the workflow. Here uh, in the GitHub I have a workflow that's going to run exactly this, what is it? Yeah this build automation this one gonna gonna build exactly that i can build this in my computer so we can test before send to there or something like that and we're gonna create our installation our revit first uh dot xl installation to install in our computer go to send to a, uh send to a, a client or something like that so uh let's do that uh to do that we need to have some options we can do inside the visual studio we can press ctrl plus uh, apostrophe so we're gonna open the the developer powershell here inside and we can uh, execute the builds the builds uh, automation so we can create in here and write the builds and press tab again to set this one to the build.cmd so i'm gonna press enter and gonna uh start the uh, automation so you're gonna basically build the the revit plugin and gonna use the application that has this the path uh, revit.app it's the same in here yeah you're gonna use the revit.app and gonna build everything in all the versions in, in Revit. Gonna create the dot adding file in all the all the the versions, and gonna create everything. Gonna pack everything in a bundle in the in the Revit in the Autodesk bundle format. And after that, gonna create the the dot the installation file, and then gonna sign everything and gonna set everything in a zip file to be published in the github basically that uh, everything works fine here uh, first we clear the project and then the compile every version gonna sign my computer is already set up for sign so uh, gonna create the installation and gonna release the the files and then uh, if i have in my github gonna send gonna publish that in there so yeah only if he is in the main file so i can show in my github again in here uh, if you click in here execute the same thing the build yeah let's go uh run builds dot smd the same thing yeah uh clear the file compile sign uh pack build create the installation and release and uh, actually jump the git release because i'm not in the main or the master branch yeah we're gonna create a master branch to publish that installation so uh we can do that but let's create exactly that right now uh let's go in my github again and go in here and can uh click in here and gonna create a new master branch so um, let's create a master branch and i'm gonna change uh right great yeah, it's great, great the master branch. Let's change this to, I hope it's not, yeah. Uh, let's change the default branch to the master. It's gonna work better. Uh, yeah, can change to the master branch. Yes, I want to do that. I understand what I'm doing. Yes, uh, now I have the developer branch and the master branch. The master branch basically is the uh, last version published in my plugin. So uh and our action already was triggered in the master branch and now i'm gonna publish this uh this plugin it's gonna appear in here in the release uh folder yeah and if i click in here i'm gonna download the the zip file that is related with with this plugin let's wait this let's change remove this i don't want that just the release yeah great uh after we wait for that let's go in my and let's go let's go in my plugin folder and show some some interesting stuff like the well like what the automation does basically here is the installation file i'm using the you know installation to do the trick here's the bundle file 
everything, the every file. Here's my application. Here's the version 1.00. And here's all the version, three versions. And here's the files with my, my plugin it is using. So yeah, here's the dot adding file and everything works like this. Uh, I can go back here, the output gonna appear the installation file. I can install this in my computer. Yeah, install that. Let's close this. I don't want to save. Thanks. Let's install this in my computer. Let's install. And let's install this. Install. I agree. Yes, yes. So in my computer, so I can open this. And we can check what, what our plugin is working. Uh, let's go in my GitHub and check if it's already finished or not. It's still running. Okay. Uh, let's go in my Raft again. And let's take a look. Come on. Uh, other thing I can do as well, uh, I can update the version. Let's do that when I, we wait for our plugin to be finished. Uh, I can go in here in the main Revit adding folder now, uh, configuration for my solution, my project. And can go in here and can change the version in there, like 2.0, yeah. That's, no, no, 2.0 is too much. Let's put some 1.1. Something like this. There. Let's change that. Uh, what is appearing then? I don't know. But let's build again. And now we're gonna build in the new version. And let's publish that as well. Just to publish new version. Something like that. Just to show new version. New version. Publish. Publish that. And let's think again. And let's go in my Revit. Let's open this file just to check our plugin. And let's wait a little. And here is our plugin. It's here. Yeah, chain walls. Here's the plugin. Uh, let's click in here and click in there. Just to show. Uh, for walls change. Okay, great. Yeah. For wall change, I can create a new wall just to show new wall. Now it's gonna be five walls change. Yeah, great, everything works fine. That's that's what's supposed to do. So uh, our plugin is working, our installation working. So I can install in my computer and it's gonna works fine. Uh, and of course uh, I don't need that. Let's go in my output again. I have a new version. I can uh, install this new version. I'm gonna uh, remove the old one, they're going to install the new, so that's great. And in my GitHub, my, yeah, my, my master branch finished, so that's great. Can go in here and I have my new releases files, uh, going to release the bundle file, the installation file, if you want to check it out what's going on and the, the installation file. Yeah. Here's in a zip file actually. So I can click in here, download the installation, install this file, I'm gonna open that and gonna click in here and it's gonna be that file in that version. Yeah, like we did in next. And of course, uh, we publish a new version and I'm gonna go in here and gonna publish that just to show what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna compare and pull, pull request. New version, doesn't matter, I'm gonna publish that and then knowing what I'm doing and uh, let's merge again. Let's merge. Yeah, it's going to merge that. And after that, uh, another work we're going to be trigger in the master branch and going to uh, release the new version 1.1. 1, 1. Yeah. And you can download the new version as well or the old one if you want. Yeah, basically that's what's going on. What's the build automation does. And uh, if you are interested in the this automation, this app loader plugin, link in the description. And thanks for watching. And of course, this 
this project gonna be open source. I'm gonna put in the in a public domain. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.